who knows what the hell is going on with the white balance, but anywho. Um, hi guys, welcome back to another one of my vlogs. Um, my arm doesn't extend that much and they're so weak right now. Um, but happy new year, um, happy 2020. I can't believe it's already 2020. We're well into 2020, if I say 2020. Anyway, I'm gonna head into town. It's raining so it's not really a good idea, but I'm gonna head into town. I'm gonna take an umbrella. And I'm gonna go <laughs> go to Boots. I need to pop into Boots because I need to get some gathers on as a reflex today. It's just dying. And I'm just gonna get some few bits and bobs before I go to Mexico. I just wanted to pop into Boots because I need some ready. I'm dying. A tiny purple shampoo because I left mine in Germany. And on the go to because you know we don't like this thing, is the haul. And I've been obsessed with this contour bronze palette. It's really nice. I'm using it for today. You can't really see because I don't like doing it so intense. In pinch. But it's six. It's six pounds and it's amazing. It doesn't look actually very pigmented. We love it. And then like a set of clear plastic bags for traveling because I've had some incidents, let's just put it that way. <laughs> with things exploding, like I'm just I hate it. Um but I get so shy vlogging, like turning the camera on when I'm in it. I'm so close. Um but for all of you that haven't seen the beauty of boots. It's huge. Like I'm in the far end corner. This two floors. So these are the things I love about the UK that I don't ever want to say goodbye to. Because they have everything. Including for years and years and oh my god. Years. I just dropped my umbrella. Um this one is why that was very embarrassing. This specific oil. They have an also like like a makeup removing oil, but this one from the US I think and that's why we had it in Mexico while I pick this shit up. I think we have some sanitary pads right behind me. Gorgeous. Um good This is where we're going. <laughs> it's amazing. Bowl, or salad bowl or wrap or whatever you want. You've got this many ingredients, amazing drinks. It's a very chill place. I really like the pasta. It tastes really nice. I've just popped into a bunch of water stones because I'm gonna come um, um, to my friend's house. Oh, no, I'm not gonna come. I'm gonna go to my friend's house, <coughs> and we're going to study. I'm gonna help her study. I found this cutest thing that my my sister and I would love. Like, study is cool to say Harry Potter is free. It's just a diary, but it's so cute. My voice is gone for some reason. This is very useful for me, actually. I need to put shit like that in my Christmas tree. I... Oh my god. <laughs> Another Harry Potter thing. I have been dying to get that, that one. I brought mum to water and she visited by the and I showed her this one and told her how much I wanted to keep like this one in my flat because I have it. And and, well, if you're watching this one, I'm repeating it. I always feel like I have to whisper when I'm at the back of this video. See, like, that 
would have been like an amazing show with like the main Jane Austen one. to me. I was outside waiting for like for the bus for like 15 to 20 minutes so I got really chilly. So I've made myself a cup of tea. I made myself a cup of tea. Oh that went really dark real quick. <laughs> um I made myself a cup of tea and I'm just like transferring all my toiletries and things into these clear bags because less mess when they're all plastic. Massive travel tip. <clears throat> just don't get any cloth like on the cloth on the inside or anything like that. Just get toilet root bags that are like just plastic because if anything explodes it's easy clean but yeah so basically all my stuff is just that's like it was like a trio set so it's actually quite nice because i've just put like my nail thing so when i pack um, my nail varnishes and everything from mexico i have that when i pack all my skincare and everything that'd be pretty full and then here i'm gonna put like because my shampoo and my like hair care should fit all in here and if everything doesn't really fit in here then I can merge some of it into this bit which is fine because I still got ooh, this one which was a scam which is I thought it would be one massive one like that big but it's from Morphe and it was like 20 pounds but it's really good quality but it does have cloth on the side so it wasn't really what I was looking for so I might just use this either for like carrying more makeup or my cables or whatever like I really don't mind um but yeah it's good to have like a set of you know my makeup's currently in here <laughs> but to have like a different set of shit um <laughs> what's that called um set of bags like travel bags like I said the only like bad thing is that there's like cloth over here on the inside um, yeah, this is already pretty full, so that's why I was like, nah, there's no way my shampoo and everything is fitting in here, so I need to get a bigger one. But yeah, irrelevant facts that you didn't need to know. 
what I'm showing you. And this set was like the three set, um, which this one's huge, like it's big enough, um, was like the three bags for £10, which is really good because I've been seeing like travel bags and everything and no good, no good. There's the book, ouch. <laughs> this is the book I ended up getting. Um, it's chunky, but when I'm in the tube or the airplane or things, I kind of want to like, basically, it's not really like a resolution or a goal, like of 2020 or whatever, I was going to say 2019. Um, it's not a goal really, because I don't like set things like that, because I don't know, in my head it's like kind of this weird weird thing where if I set a goal it kind of feels like I'm putting too much pressure on me to get to that goal because then you have so many and like I don't know if this ever happens to you but like with 2020 resolutions and all that crap if you don't believe in it because I said I, I mean to be honest I just say crap because of when I say like things and shit so I don't mean to be insulting um but basically <clears throat> with all the new year's resolution crap um it's kind of like it's when you do kind of like um retrospective analysis of yourself look at me <laughs> um, and, and then you kind of find all the things that you're not really happy with yourself and that kind of puts you down in a way which shouldn't be like that and I also don't really believe you need a new year to start but it does like the whole like new year thing is kind of like a reset button for a lot of people like a fresh start kind of like they kind of just need that concept in their heads but you don't really need it to be fair so saying that um to just like work on yourself and to do things bit by bit that's why I don't really set goals resolutions and things like that it's just kind of like a journey that you're working on yourself you're, you're working yourself yeah you get the point that was in English anyway um one thing that I really wanted to do was get back into reading because I spend way too much time on social media way too much like Instagram is a major issue these days now which I never thought it'd be because I never really was on Instagram but then I got sucked in somehow like my Instagram feed I guess their algorithms really do work in the sense of it captures you and then you use a lot of it which is good for them but it's not good for me because then I start to do this thing where I start like pointlessly scrolling without actually even looking at the photos or is it just like not even like harding things I'm just scrolling like my hands are doing something and my head's just going at it and I get really really anxious and get into my head and it's just it's not a good place so for like the first yeah for like the first two three days of this year and funnily enough it was just because like this year changed or whatever but like it's not that um the first like three days I kind of just logged off social media and I did not use my phone. I turned off the notifications, put everything on silent. Everything was just like, I'm like, I am disappearing for two days. I'm gonna calm down, meditate, think like positive thoughts, calm down and not pointlessly scroll. And if I need to talk about something, I'll talk about it with like my friends that I was with. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, talking a lot is not helping because my throat really hurts. Maybe that's why my throat hurts. Um, so I was telling my mom it was sore. But anyway, I get really sidetracked really quickly. So, um, I know like getting off social media is quite hard sometimes because you're on your phone the whole time. So, I'm trying to put my phone down a little bit more to sometimes log off Instagram, sometimes turn the notifications off my phone. Um, just kind of do that and I know a way I can do that is just, just to do other things, obviously, because you're not on your phone, right? It's so simple and it's so stupid. And one thing, it's like two birds one stone type of thing with me because I really wanted to get back into reading anyway um I feel like it's time off my phone it's time to do something else I am kind of like letting my brain work without overworking itself in an anxious way so yeah if you think about it it's three birds one stone but we're not going to get into specifics it's a really thick ass book and like commuting to places um, instead of using my phone and scrolling through Instagram and getting frustrated when I don't have internet sometimes. Like trains or like airplanes, things like that.
party's done Get off the floor Hello! Hello! How are you? Right, okay, so what you saw is me landing in Mexico I'm in Cancun, like I'm very excited as you can tell, I can't stop smiling Either way, um, I wanted to show you I'm just staying here for like a night <laughs> So I'm making the most of it. I've already showered, gotten like slightly ready. Um, either way, um, I wanted to show you. I've already made a mess out of it as usual. But welcome to my crib for the night. <laughs> made a mess, clearly. Um, it looks really nice. The balcony is just spectacular. If I say so myself. Look. Look at that. And it's sunset, it's so warm. Beau. I'm about to go down. Sadly, I landed like, in the afternoon and it's, the sun's gonna set soon, so I haven't been able to like fully like sunbathe or do anything like that, so there's no tan. But, but, we will enjoy this. Um, I've already got my stuff ready. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. It's just a forever old Forever 21 bikini that definitely does not fit me anymore and I'm trying to make the most of it because I don't have any swimming suits since I put my on and become a woman. <laughs> I bought the swimming suit when I was like 17, 18 or something. So yeah, it's the only thing I had and essentially I didn't have that to buy me. And this is a boohoo or pretty little thing like cover up thing. I used it this summer, well no, no, this summer, last year for the wireless festival um, and now I'm actually putting it to its proper use but I love the, the lighting and everything like ah, okay instead of babbling on and on and on I'm gonna like I already made myself comfortable I was already playing music do you see the speakers and the shit there so <laughs> when I was at the beach. Um, I was playing music so I didn't really like talk but it was beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I tried to, um, since then, I tried to order a Domino's. Apparently it was delivered, it never came. I don't know who, like it probably went to a different house. They're like, oh yeah, it's gonna be like, I think it was like 200 pesos or something like that, 300 pesos. Yeah, it was 300 pesos. And they paid at the door, whatever. So it delivered to someone else tried to place another order, they cancelled that, so I went to 7-Eleven, corner shop, and bought myself. I am indulgent. I love this. My favorite crisps. They're my favorite. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. <coughs> I got a bunch more stuff. So food haul. I'm still gonna go to Domino's for some place to eat dinner because eventually I got these snacks because I haven't eaten all day 
I want these snacks for now from starving. Um, I'm gonna make myself some simple ass quesadillas. I got myself some nuts, starving nuts. Cheetos! Oh my god! I'm about to head out to go to Domino's to try to get at least a pizza because I'm hungry. And to be honest, I'm only staying here a couple hours, so. Mm. Let me open this one and combine them both and have this flavorful time. I forgot to update yo. <laughs> I just did this clip, but I forgot the music was playing in the back and I don't want to get a copyright strike. So Here, we have the Domino, and I've eaten a few slices, um, because of the amount of junk I ate, I'm kind of not like 100% hungry now, so, yeah, I managed to order the Domino's, it was, it was a bit much, <laughs> but we did it. it, it was only because I don't have the Mexican SIM card yet, that's why. They couldn't contact me three times. Three. Three times I ordered this pizza. But whatever, whatever, we have it now. It's kind of crispy, it's kind of burnt, not gonna lie. Don't want to see not my favorite here in Mexico. I live for the margarita. Or like any pizza in the UK. Oh, they're amazing. Domino's in the UK is amazing. But the dessert here is so much better. So much better. Either way, I have a bunch of food to last me till tomorrow morning. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I just want to stay here for a few days now and have a proper holiday, but we shall not fret. I'm planning on coming back, even if it's by myself. I'm, I'm going to try to drag a friend with me and try to split something with them. <laughs> Time to go home. Hi again. It's much, much later now. Well, kind of. Um, I've just been eating, chilling, and falling into a food coma, which is exactly what I'm doing right now because. I am so sleepy, so tired, and I want to get like three hours sleep if I can, so I can like get up in the middle of the fucking night, basically, um, and just go down to the beach and feel the sand a little bit more, and just, you know, calmly pack my stuff, eat some breakfast before the taxi gets here. I kind of regret placing or ordering the taxi at 5.30 a.m. I really wanted the, I should have just ordered it for 6 a.m. because uh, <laughs> I don't want to go. I've been 60, I mean, probably staying 16 hours in Cancun, but yeah. Good night, guys. This concludes my first few hours. Oh my goodness. Oh, the journey begins. It started off at a bit, like, it's a great start. I just don't want it to go downhill. I want it to stay, like, level. Yeah. Instead of ranting on and on and on. Good night for me to you. Over in the UK and in Germany. It's like six, seven hours later. You guys are waking up while I'm falling asleep. Thank God the jet lag didn't hit this time as hard as it did. Because, um, yeah, I stayed up the last few days in Germany until like 5 a.m. So I could kind of get used to like the same, you know, time zone. The problem is going back. It's me harder when I go back. 
Uh, battery slashing. Um, that's my cue to shut up. So yeah. Good night, guys. I love you a bit. I'll see you in the morning when I attempt to wake up and go to my living room. Yeah, all that. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's a nice day. It's 5:20 a.m. My taxi arrives in 10 minutes, which means in like five, I'll go down and go wait. I'm so sad, I don't want to go. Oh, my ear. <clears throat> I don't want to go, and I look like I haven't had any sleep because I haven't. I've had three hours sleep, so I'm gonna deal with that. Sleep on a plane. Um, but I've packed everything, everything, everything. Um, I feel like I look like a safari, like I'm going on a hike today. Um, I mean, this is, this is what we're going with today. <laughs> with my, where is this? Just Fab jacket, what's it called? Leather jacket. And this, so technically like, I don't look that much of like a safari trooper kind of thing, but whatever. It's comfortable. I'm not wearing, well, I don't like jeans. I've never liked jeans. And I'm not gonna, I don't feel like wearing sweatpants because it's flipping hot here. So yeah, I don't wanna be sweating. Like, yeah. Got my Powerade. My delicious goods. My nail broke. So I tried to glue it back on as best I could. I need to fix them. I need to go pick up like my nail stuff and fix them. But yeah, good morning to you guys. Top of the morning to you. Um, I didn't manage to finish my Domino's because it was so much, so much food, duh, like you saw me munching on this. So I'm just gonna like try to heat a little bit of something in these five minutes. And we go, we move. Good morning. Good morning, sea. Beautiful sea that you can't see. <laughs> Pun definitely wasn't intended. People. Drunk heads. Everyone's out here drunk. Probably. 